Hi, Danny with Enphase Energy Training. I want to take a few minutes to talk about best practices of turning fourth generation batteries on and off. The Enphase IQ Battery 10C is built for efficiency and resiliency. Underneath the battery cover, there's a total of four battery microinverters, two for each of the two individual or separate battery packs. Unlike other systems with only one inverter, if one goes down, the rest of the system keeps working. The 10C unit next to me is an early prototype used for on-the-road training. Yours will be a little different with added battery switch lockout covers and some additional refinements. When facing the battery cover of a 10C, the battery control switches are mounted on the lower left. There are two switches total, one for each of the battery subunits. These switches are a momentary push-button type with LED lights underneath them. Because the light switches are electronic, it can take a moment for the on or off command to reach both of the connected microinverters. As a result, it is a best practice to press and hold the button down for five seconds in order to turn them on, and again, five seconds to turn them off. I'll show you what this looks like. Press the button for five seconds. And again, one, two, three, four, five. And that's it. If you see other colors or different flashes for just a moment, that's okay. It can be part of the boot up sequence. To turn the batteries off, it's the same process as before. Press the button for five seconds. And again, one, two, three, four, five. The battery shutdown process takes 40 seconds. This is normal. After an automatic firmware update, the shutdown process is faster. You'll see the red flashing light for about 15 seconds. If at some point in the future, you find a solid red light or other likely error scenario, Similar to most electronics, it might be a good idea to power cycle the unit before panicking or contacting customer service. Just press the button off for five seconds, wait for the unit to turn completely off, meaning no more red flashing, wait a moment, and then press the button for five seconds to turn it back on. Since I'm standing next to a battery 10C and working with the battery control switches, I wanted to remind installers and service people be sure to place the battery control switch plug into the protective holster before you install or remove the battery cover. Otherwise, the battery switch cable can get damaged. I'll show you what this looks like. The batteries are already mounted and the battery cell packs are plugged into the microinverters on each side. What you're gonna do is take the loose battery control switch plug for each of the battery packs and secure it. Here is the wall side unit. You place it into the holster. Put the cover on, open the lower access cover door, and then plug the control switch plug into the battery control switch, and that's it. Now the switch will work. If you need to remove the battery cover, be sure to open the access door, place the battery control switch plug into the cable holster, and then you'll remove the cover. Carefully remove that. Thank you.